To live the story of Benjamin Button through the language of moves is an incredibly difficult task for everyone, but not for Radu Poklitaru and his Kiev modern ballet. Creativity of the theater Kiev modern ballet has been bringing delight to fans of modern dance art for 10 years now. Even repertoire performances get full houses here, to say nothing of the premieres. We have worked all these 10 years having constant full house. I'm not sure if any theater in Ukraine can say the same. Really, we are always filled to capacity. It's happiness. This premiere became quite an event in the cultural life of Kyiv. This time the choreographer Radu Poklitaru took on a very complex philosophical topic, something as complex as Faust by Goethe or the story of Benjamin Button by Scott Fitzgerald. It's difficult to tell the story even through words, to say nothing of the dance. All the more, the idea was not just to convey the meaning, but to make viewers live it through, excite them and reach out to their hearts. It was almost impossible to do the choreographic version of the incredible history of Benjamin Button. That's why exactly I have embarked on this impossible mission. It's interesting for me to resolve problems that cannot be resolved. The work took a very long time and the ballet was a very short one, only 27 minutes. But it took me three months to stage it, which is a very long time. Scrupulously, step by step, we build this amazing story about transformation, about living life in a different way, from old age to child and then to infancy. This production is different from all others. Initially, there was no music written for a certain libretto or a plot for which the music is chosen, not to mention the classical pieces, such as Carmen or Giselle. This music was not written specifically for the ballet. This piece was written a long time ago. I just showed it to Radu one day and he came up with the idea of making a ballet out of it. So there was no direct cooperation between me and the theatrical company. It was just my piece. The performance was created for the music string quartet of our wonderful composer Alexander Rodin, who is our contemporary. I had it for three years, but I didn't know how to approach it, and it was always hard. And then I realized that probably it was the curious case of Benjamin Button, communicated through the language of choreography. When we found out that Radu is going to work on a new production, we were all intrigued, because we did not know what it would be. And then Radu gathered us all in the hall and announced that he was about to stage the performance based on the story of Benjamin Button. Everyone knows the film well and the literary work itself, so it was very interesting to see the start of the production process and how it will go. The eternal topic of Faust, who sells his soul to the devil for the opportunity to regain his youth. But Benjamin Button does not just return to some stage of his youth, he completely lives through all stages of life. As a result, his invented reality crumbles into pieces. This story is a kind of a fairy tale, pure mysticism. My role is also an experiment because I play a man in black. I am some kind of entity that has the right to dispose of the hero's soul. I'm telling the story and I have goosebumps now because it's a very mystical role and the preparation was very hard. I had terrible things happening in my life at that time. I was being tortured by insomnia. I had nightmares. We all know that there is something in the universe, something that we don't even know and cannot explain. That's why my part was very difficult. It wasn't hard in terms of lexicon, rather due to the fact that it is generally speaking incredibly difficult to touch something we do not know.
это очень сложно. Unlike dramatic opera productions with complex decorations, costumes and bright props, in the theater of dance everything is focused on the body of the dancer, on their movements, of their ability to communicate emotions to the viewer. In ballet everything is limited to narrow specifics, because space is the main decoration. Movement is necessary and the main language is movement. Therefore, all the components are subject to the general scenario, choreography. Light, for instance, is very important, as sometimes it highlights the dynamic line, the culmination of the performance, but it is also organically connected with the music. Everything is built in several layers here and moves parallel. Costumes are very important for dance. Costumes may be different, from very simple ones to very complex, like those we did for Up the River. We wanted to maintain the idea here and preserve the utilitarian function too, as we wanted them to be comfortable. Whatever the costume, there should be a line on the stage and the shape that the choreographer came up with. The performance is very dynamic, everything unfolds very quickly, and the creative search of each artist was done in cooperation with the master. He came up with a philosophical story that needed to be compressed into a time interval, a very small one. We could not show this story in three acts or in four as a series. The theater Kyiv Modern Ballet from the very beginning took an incredible pace to make three, four, on even five premieres at a season. It is exhausting and takes a lot of energy, but it also gives the desired results. The premiere gives us a lot. When you are given a new task, you immediately turn on, you know what is better, what needs to be done and what's interesting. It is always an opportunity to show what you can do. It is interesting for a dancer to try something new. Dancers cannot show any development without this. The premiere coincided with a very important event for the theater. It was given the status of a municipal academic theater. The artists of Kyiv Modern Ballet used to be the members of the Theater of Opera and Ballet for children and youth. Now it is separate theater with all legal, administrative and creative rights. This is not an event of the year, this is an event of the decade. Because our theatrical company is 10 years old, but we were not a troupe, we did not have an official status. We survived the best we could thanks to people and thanks to our spectators. This is a certain degree of recognition at the state level. Rado Poklitaru and all the performers who work in the theater have been introducing the art of modern dance into the cultural space of Ukraine. In my opinion, it's a major plus for our country, because the theater is unique. Of course, this title, this recognition will help the theater, but I'm even happier for our country and for the fact that the theater is recognized as an academic Ukrainian theater. The theater can be congratulated on both occasions, the premiere and earn such an important status. I would like to see this example followed by other talented, purposeful and creative teams, and I am sure that Kyiv Modern Ballet will not stop there. I wish them inspiration, interesting work, smart ideas and powerful realization of everything that was conceived. And a decent room as well, in which its group can conduct rehearsal, which would be of a great help to both actors and directors. We have a long way to go. I hope that with this new status of a municipal theater, we will gain independence, 
and we'll be able to find our way to the heart of every spectator in order to promote the contemporary choreography as an art form. And of course, I want Ukraine to be proud of the National Theatre of Contemporary Choreography.